Hello, it is September um, 23rd. It's officially fall and I'm going to be doing my garden update. I hope you enjoy it. As um, you can see, it looks like fall here. A lot of plants are dying down. It's gotten cooler in the 40s at night. and um, But they are still surviving. I'm hoping I get enough tomatoes so I can do my um, spaghetti sauce yet. There is a nice looking pepper plant. Here are my sugar peas and they are doing much better this fall than they did in the spring. And there's my licorice mint. And my peppermint. This here is the long bed along the fence. All the sunflowers are down now, but I still have cabbage and um, fennel, tomatoes, um, ground cherries, and the grapes are growing along the fence. And here is the covered beds. Um, that is um, early purple broccoli, which is um, has to go over winter. To produce and then I've planted some more little um, early purple broccoli there that it will need to go through winter too in case those large ones don't make it some rutabaga in there and these are cabbages that will um, take a lot of frost and freezing so we're gonna let those go These here are the um, rat tail pods. They're still producing a little bit. They don't like the cold so much, but I had to pull um, five of them had died last week. And here's the strawberry bed, which is completely full now. And the other strawberry bed. Right here I got um, turnips and some mustard greens I have um, only two salad or lettuce left from um, that I planted earlier the rabbits took the rest of it and um, then behind that is the asparagus and then I have another rat tail over here I have um, some pepper plants and then I was given some um, um, rhubarb so I've got that planted in here and this will be the rhubarb bed next year right there you can see one and that is my lovage bed and the blackberries are still gone and they have been very good and large See how big they are. And there are some raspberries still going. I need to pick them, it looks like. And there is the blueberry bush. And the other blueberry bush. And these two beds are, um, <clears throat> excuse me, overwinter beds. They have um, one bed has carrots in it, the other one has onions. In this bed here, I am trying to get um, a few more um, beans before it frosts. I hope they make them. And then I've got some um, beets planted behind it. In this bed is a mix of different kind of um, lettuces. And I had radishes behind it, but obviously they've been pulled. And in this long bed, we had um, all radishes and the corn. The corn was not coming up very well or surviving very well because it's getting, um, the days are getting too short. And so I went ahead and just pulled it. 
back here I had some corn growing um, obviously it's done and I pulled it and I put in um, some garlic for next year and then over here we have peppers ground cherries the lavender is doing well and beans few tomato plants left and right over there is um, basil that I'm letting go to seed and here is the herb bed I have pulled out um, all but three of the um, fever few I want to add some more herbs in this bed so I needed to make some room And these are the cold frame beds. They mostly have seeds in them, so you're not going to see much today. And some lettuce growing. And here are the black raspberry bushes. And then up here I have some radishes that I don't think they're going to make it. They're just not getting enough sun back here, I don't think. Try to get in the spring when we don't have any leaves yet. And then I have a few more um, turnips over here. And there is one of my pawpaw trees. It's still alive. They're both still alive. I'm just showing one. And then um, the long bed up front. More ground cherries pepper plants and I've got uh, watermelon in the back behind it and some cantaloupe that I don't think is going to make it there's a couple of tomatoes That is the garden tour for September. I hope you've enjoyed it and you come back next month.